I have been so sick of looking at that plastic, ugly garbage. It's, I'm done. I was shocked how heavy this plastic garbage is. This thing is pretty heavy. For being plastic, it is heavy. This is actually, to me, I'm gonna weigh it right now on my scale, but I think this manifold is lighter than that plastic garbage can right there. Which doesn't make sense. You would think that the plastic would weigh less than the aluminum, right? There must be a whole bunch of plastic in that thing. What's up, Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a fantastic day out there. So today, guys, wanted to show you a brand new mod that we just got for Frostbite, and it is absolutely sick. So, I'm gonna start it off with probably a sneak peek right here. But, oh, most of you guys probably know what that is. That is intake manifold off of Frostbite. This is our stock 5.7 Hemi stock manifold. And as you see, it's no longer on Frostbite. So, what's in the white box? <laughs> well, let's get right to it, guys. I'm going to pull this joker out yeah this is a two box uh, dilly right here all right so obviously stock intake manifold is a no-go no bueno no longer needed so what do we have in this box Shall we see? Got a gasket. Got some hardware. But let's see what this is. Oh! Oh, look at that! Woo! Get you some! That right there, boys and girls, is the Holly High Ram manifold for the late model Hemi motors. Look at that dude. Oh yeah. So here we go. I'm gonna face it towards you guys. What's in box number two? Well it's gonna be the top. Two said manifold. Look at that. I mean, that is, that is flipping massive. Oh, let's see what she looks like. Drop it on. Woo! Son, oh son. Oh, man, I'm telling you right now, that's going to look so awesome on Frostbite. I'm not going to lie. Look at this. Why in the world... And I'm not lying when I say that I have been so sick of looking at that plastic, ugly garbage. It's, I'm done. As you see, we got the manifold to replace it with. A lot of people's going to probably ask why I didn't do the 6.4 manifold. Well, it's ugly. Just like that. It's ugly. It's plastic and it's ugly. Yes. The 6.4 manifolds and the 5.7s has active runners. On an NA car, that might be better for you. On a nitrous vehicle or a boosted vehicle, I'm sorry. I'm, I don't want that plastic, ugly garbage on my truck anymore. It is absolutely hideous. I don't care what you do to them plastic garbage cans. It still looks like garbage. You can smooth them out, paint them, whatever. It's still a pile of plastic garbage. This, oh baby, oh baby. That right there, that right there is, 
That's sexy time right there. Absolutely beautiful. This thing is gonna look really awesome with the Torque Storm Supercharger. It's gonna blend right in. It's gonna make the engine bay on Frostbite absolutely just pop. Not only that, we should pick up a good bit of power on the upper RPM band. You know, cam vehicle, we have a huge stall and we have a trans brake. So yes, I am fully aware that without the active runners that's on the Hemi's factory, there's a good bit of chance if you have a big cam and everything, you could lose a little bit of low end torque going in, going to a manifold like this. Um, but there's ways, you know, there's ways to get around that and ways to tune around that. One's big stall converter, um, power adder, nitrous boost, which is what these manifolds are absolutely made for. They have endless nitrous accessories made by Nitrous Express, NOS, Nitrous Outlet, all of them have the most awesome nitrous accessories for these manifolds. They have plates that literally drop in here and direct port inject each runner evenly. So the nitrous guys, this manifold is absolutely the way to go if you are a nitrous guy. A boosted guy, absolutely. Not only for boosted guys, there's a company out there called Tick Performance that has a drop-in water to air intercooler that drops onto this manifold and then the top actually goes on top of it, kind of like so, and you can have a water to air intercooler that drops in here and it is actually a very nice piece a product from Tick Performance. They have two versions. They have a low profile that does up to like, uh, I think it's like 1200 horsepower. And they have a taller version that can go way over one, uh, way over 1500. Not lying, I'm really looking into that shorter version. I would like to go to an air water intercooler and ditch the front mount intercooler that's on Frostbite. That would be awesome. But this manifold there is just so many directions that you can go with the Holly High Ram Manifold for your Hemi that, again, <laughs> the options is endless for the nitrous guys, the boosted guys, even the NA guys. If you're building an all-out NA Screamer, this manifold is still going to be a good contender for you. It's going to make lots of power up high, and if you have the proper converter, and motor build, you will not lose very much on the low end of the spectrum, especially if you got some really good tuning going into the build. But again, guys, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to get this on Frostbite. It is gonna look so awesome. I'm gonna grab the camera. I'm gonna bring the camera over here and kind of get a close up of this thing and uh, let you guys check it out. The ports on these manifolds, I, could, I mean, I can literally almost put my hand inside the runners on this manifold. It is, it is just massive. Massive. So heck yeah, let me grab the camera let you guys check it out real quick. All right guys, so here is the manifold. I have the top off. Oil cap goes right here. They supply you with the oil cap. It also comes with fuel rails. I forgot to mention the fuel rails. Let me grab them real quick. They are in this box right here. So they give you some super awesome fuel rails to go along with this. And they say Holly EFI right on the fuel rails. Very nice size fuel rails. Obviously, they're gonna go up here like so. So, you get the fuel rails, you get the gaskets, the oil cap as you can see is right there. Some hardware. And uh, it's a really nice looking manifold. So again, this is the Holly High Ram. Pretty tall. You can kind of compare it to the stock 5.7 over here. Let me move this lid. 
yeah. Bring this choker over here. I'm gonna turn the high ram next to it so we can kind of see it. So there you go. Hunk of garbage, absolutely butamous right there. Look at that. So there's the height without the lid on. And again, look at these ports. Look how massive these ports are. Look, this, I mean, I don't have a huge hand, guys, but I mean, literally, <laughs> I mean, that is just, that is absolutely stupid how much flow you're going to get through these runners. And again, the products from uh, Nitrous Express, NOS, Nitrous Outlet, all the nitrous guys. And I know I got a lot of nitrous people on the channel. Man, the things you can do with this manifold with nitrous, man, I'm telling you, you can get spray bars put in here. There's plate kits from all the above I just stated. All the manufacturers make a plate that drops on that literally, I've already looked at them, squirt into each runner. Dead nuts, even. So you basically, you, all, you pretty much have direct port nitrous by just dropping a plate on top of these manifolds. They also, for the guys that want to plumb a nozzle in each runner, you can see the flat spot here. There's flat spots on every runner every runner has a flat spot so you can direct port a nozzle if you'd rather run a nozzle in each each runner down low you can easily tap this manifold it's aluminum it's thick lots of material to work with but again there's drop-in plates that does the same thing works great tick performance has drop-on water to air intercoolers and they fit right in here, the lid goes on top of them, and bam, you have a super nice intercooler system. I'm gonna put the lid on here. Just set it up there real quick. That is what it looks like with the lid on. I don't even have to, I mean, that just that is just that's just absolutely stupid amount of airflow right there. Uh, I believe this is 105. And then there's adapters to adapt your stock throttle body on, which is what I'm actually doing for the time being. I'm just going to jam my stock throttle body on here. And uh, eventually, yes, I know people's ask me, God, you still have the stock throttle body? Yes, I do. Um, I mean, it, it just works. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It works. And uh, eventually, I'm going to change it out. We'll see. But right now, for the time being, because I'm trying to get ready for Mo Party, I'm just jamming the stock throttle body on here with an adapter that they have from Holly. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. There's that. So, lid on. Again, I mean, this is just, this is just awesome. I mean, that is just a piece of eye candy. You can also get these in black. They got them powder coated black already um, for the guys that want to try to, uh, match up with your blackout theme they got a black version I wanted the bare aluminum version because it'll match up with the torque storm supercharger and uh, it'll look really good under the hood of frostbite so there you go now stock manifold I mean hey it's done us pretty good guys we've went I see fastest time to date we went 11 6 you know and I think it was like a 2800-ish DA. We went 11.6 on this manifold. Um, hey, we've ran the nuts out of it. Truck has 150,000 miles on it. And manifold did us good for the time being, but it is, it is gone. I, I mean, look at the just... Bleh, 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 <laughs> is all I can say. Like, these are just horrendous looking. That is the biggest thing on the Hemi is the manifolds are just absolutely garbage looking i mean it is i mean literally garbage can pretty much that is what it is it's just a block of garbage um so yeah you know your next best thing guys six four manifold works good tunes good a lot of guys are running them they work good i didn't want to do that mainly because it's still an ugly piece of plastic and I'm all about my truck being fast. I want my truck to be fast. I want it to run good. I want it to look good too. And you're not gonna look good with that plastic manifold. 
that's just all there is to it as you guys know i don't just race my truck for numbers i go to car shows i go hang out i go have fun with my truck so i want the best of both worlds and here you go that's it that is <laughs> beautiful that's all i can say and uh this manifold will definitely let us grow into the build of frostbite for much more time going like we can make so much more power on this manifold down the future that you know we shouldn't have to change this ever again like that should be the manifold probably for the rest of life on frostbite that manifold is going to flow more than enough numbers for us in the future uh for for whatever we do to the truck so there you go that's the manifold i went with no more plastic garbage now the other thing i noticed guys this manifold and I'm sure the 6.4 is probably just as bad. I'm not sure. I don't have one in front of me. But I'm going to tell you. I was shocked how heavy this plastic garbage is. This thing is pretty heavy. For being plastic, it is heavy. This is actually, to me, I'm going to weigh it right now on my scale. But I think this manifold is lighter than that plastic garbage can right there which doesn't make sense you would think that the plastic would weigh less than the aluminum right there must be a whole bunch of plastic in that thing all right we're gonna start with the five seven plastic garbage can on the scale first now after stripping everything down and i know i know we you know the tr the, the uh the old troll commenters out there I got the bolts out. We even took all the manifold bolts out. Took the oil cap off. Because right now the Holly don't have the oil cap. So it's pretty much bare. And now that we got everything off of it. Ah, it's going to be close. My, it's going to be close. It's going to be close and wait. We'll see. Alright, what we got? We're on the scale. We got a hot 2037. 2037 lbs all right well let's swap them out and let's see i'm still kind of feeling like the holly's lighter but i don't know after getting everything off of it it's, it's feeling like it might be kind of close so let's find out here we go let's switch them out Woo! all right i know i know it looks a little jacked up but that's because that manifold's so massive the footprint hardly gets on my scale there as you can see so we had to flip it upside down, make it look a little goofy. But we got it on there. And, well, I swear that thing feels lighter, but it's not. It's a little heavier, but not by much. Oh, before I show you, the little bit of pound difference is so worth the way it looks. But here we go, on the scale. We got a hot 23, 28 LBs. You know, so we're, we're three pounds heavier. I knew it was close. I knew it was close. Again, I was really shocked how heavy that plastic pile of garbage is. That thing's pretty heavy. And, uh, well, again, eh, it's just ugly. I want to show you one more thing real quick, guys. I'm going to flip these intakes over so you can see the runners on the, on the back side where they go into the cylinder heads see the difference between a stock 5.7 that's not ported or anything to the holly high ram so let's check that out all right so we have them flipped upside down and that is runners on the bottom these ports are definitely bigger than the factory 5.7 my manifold is not ported this is a stock 5.7 manifold that's one port right there we'll go to the same corner on this intake So there you go, Holly High Ram Manifold for the Hemi Motors, stock 5.7 garbage can going off the truck. So again, I want to do, I do want to mention, all right, these manifolds from Holly for the Hemi, they fit the 5.7, the 6.4, they pretty much fit all the late model Hemis, cars, trucks, whatever. Now, with that said, on the Ram trucks, they fit very good. The hood clears. There's plenty of room under the hood. Not a problem. As you see, these are taller. Okay, this is taller than the stock manifold. 
right there. I mean, that's a pretty good difference. On the Ram trucks, the hood is not a problem. They fit, they clear, they look good. Now, on the car, they fit. However, may contact the hood, possibly. So you do want to check that. Now, there is people out there running this manifold on tons of Challengers and Chargers. Most of them are running a different hood. Um, but you may have an issue on your hood. So definitely look into that. Now, they make, the sh they make, a, they make other intake manifolds that's a little shorter that won't be a problem with your hood. I highly recommend the high ram though because it's going to give you the most torque and the most power throughout the band possible. For sure. High ram is the way to go, I believe. So, again, ram trucks fits beautiful. On the cars, fits nice. You need to check with your hood. Might be a problem there. But tons of people are running it on the cars. I'm super stoked for the Holly High Ram to get on Frostbite. I'm ready to see the appearance difference. I'm ready to see what happens on the track. I think we should gain something for sure. It may not be a huge gain, but I think we should gain something. But no matter what, it's going to look good, and we're going to be able to grow into this manifold. Whether it's right now or later, this manifold is going to be the way to go for my truck. That's for sure. Now, I want to mention one other thing, all right? If you look under the, the stock manifolds, everybody knows these manifolds sit literally right on the engine block. There is no, there's pretty much no airflow underneath the engine block. They snug right up on the engine block, on the top of the block. Look at all this. You got tons, not to mention through the runners. I mean, you got tons of room through these runners Literally, all the way through the back. Tons of airflow. This thing sits up off the engine block a lot. So you're gonna get a lot of airflow under the manifold, through the sides of the manifold, and airflow through the top of the motor that currently I used to not get with this manifold. So I'm curious how this manifold's gonna cool the engine, uh, if we get better airflow, if the engine actually likes this manifold over the plastic. Now I know plastic, and a lot of reasons why everyone's, you know, all these manufacturers go to plastic now, is plastic cools very nice, and uh, it works well, it's just ugly. Um, aluminum cool, cools really nice also. It does retain a little more heat than plastic, but all these air ports and holes I think it's going to be a toss-up if it changes at all or if maybe we do gain a little bit of cooling factor with having this manifold up off the engine block. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to look at the data logs and see what happens. But anywho, there you go. That's it. So that's it for this video. Uh, we got some more stuff, more videos coming on Storm. We're working on uh, the meth injection installation. I got that video in the works. So stay tuned for that. Uh, pretty much done. Got to tweak a little things here and there, finish up some stuff. But Storm's almost there, so stay tuned for that. Obviously, we got some videos coming with the install of this manifold and how much it changes our engine bay. It is going to be awesome. And uh, hey, Mo Party's a few weeks around the corner, so we got a lot of work to do. I got to get this thing on. We got to finish Storm. Storm is driving all the way from Georgia to Kentucky. It's going to drive all the way there on the Torque Storm Supercharger. Again, I told you guys that truck was going to be a daily driver. And that's what it's going to be. So that truck's being driven from Georgia to Kentucky for Mo Party. If you're going to be at Mo Party, you'll be able to see Storm and Frostbite. And uh, obviously, we're going to be racing the tar out of, out of Frostbite. And uh, we'll be doing some tuning for this thing obviously and getting ready see what happens hopefully we have some good air we maybe break our personal best time and uh have some fun go see some badass mopars so yeah that's it guys as always hit that like button don't forget hit that like button it helps the uh channel out helps with the analytics and getting youtube to support my videos more subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet i know you guys are watching because i see all the people watching it 
hit that subscribe button. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. Lots of cool stuff coming up in the future. I'm sure you're going to like it. And again, guys, stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next one.